Hey, good morning. Uh, great to talk to you again. Today is an exciting day. We finished with the bubbly and it's the first intake of Savion Blanc. Uh, and uh, walk with me. I want to show you the grapes. I'm quite excited. We're busy analyzing it inside. And of course, now the trick is to read the harvest correctly. Each vintage bowl a different curveball towards you. And, uh, you know, in the first day or two of the intake and smelling the juice and analyzing it and uh, you know, smelling it while it's fermenting, you must make certain, uh, not just calculations, but certain plans for the harvest because this year it's early, it's a small crop with small berries and now to do the correct things to ensure that you end up with the same product as last year and better than, than last year, of course, is the final goal. Alright, what you saw on, the, on this clip is the grapes arriving in bins, 500 kilogram plastic bins. It's picked in the vineyard in lug boxes of 18, 19 kilogram and then dumped into the bin. Each picker have a number and of course he will pay, will be paid according to how many uh, lug boxes he pick each day. From the other, the forklifter will take it off, weigh the grapes, very important to get a weight. And then on the grapes is 50 parts of sulfur added just to protect it against oxidation and browning and then tilt it into the receiving bin where a screw conveyor will move it forward and then the fr fruit will go or the bunches will go through a process of destalking. On top you will see that we add a bit of uh, dry ice, that's just small pellets of compact uh, carbon dioxide and that will immediately evaporate and cover the juice and protect it against any um, oxidation or browning. The process of destalking work out that the berries are heavy and will be remo removed from a stalk on a spiral axe there's some fingers that will remove it, they work and falling through a drum and then uh, two rollers will crush the berries or roll it or gently crush it, fall into the hopper of the pump and that will pump it through a mash cooler, a zigzag line uh, where water will cool it down and take out about 10 degrees Celsius and in this case on the clip you will saw this fruit will specifically stay in the contact with the skins for 18 hours till tomorrow morning where we will drain off the fresh juice and press the skins. It will then end up in a settling tank where it will settle out over two days and two nights. There's an enzyme that we will add to the pulp that ensure that the juice will settle out and form a sediment of plus minus 10%. After two days, it's racked from the lees, put into a, a fermentation tank. We will slowly increase the temperature to around 13 degrees and then do an inoculation that we can show you on the next clip where we will add our Chiara will prepare the yeast and add it and immediately when we add it to the clear juice in a tank we will refer to it from there onwards for about 20-22 days as must fermenting wine.